Okay, so I can mess around like that a little bit, but what I want to do now is I want to, <coughs> excuse me, I want to get some of the major pieces in place, some of the major, um, uh, the major structures. So, on our, uh, going, looking at our instance again, down here in the resorts, can you see that we're going to have to do something for each resort? Does that make sense to you? We're going to do something for each resort. What's the something? Let's look in here into our resorts. So here is resort number one, and it looks like it has the title of the resort inside an H2 tag. It has a paragraph that has what in it? That paragraph has the description in it. Um, and we're going to start mapping that to here. So here's the title. Here's the description. Can you see also that the link appears um, here? And that title is actually a link. And that's where the link comes. That's where the link appears. It appears here. It also appears down here. So I can begin to replace bits and pieces. But before I do that, I should notice that I'm going to do this whole chunk here from the horizontal rule all the way down to this div here. All this stuff here I'm going to do for each resort. Right? Can you see that? So maybe I'll start out by just saying um, in here for each resort down to here just so I get a feeling for what's going to have to be repeated for each resort and how it's going to look on the web page. Okay, so I'm going to run that again just to get a feeling for it and I'm going to see that I get for each resort. Okay, now actually I think now that I look at this that that should that that I shouldn't do that um <clears throat> excuse me, I shouldn't do that horizontal rule for each resort, so I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to move that down one. Cuz I believe in the final page we have the horizontal rule only once and then for each resort. And now I run it again. Notice I'm running it all the time. And any little change I make, it's no problem to run it again and see what happens. Now I have a bracket here, right? This little chunk. First it's going to be Whistler, then it's going to be the second one, then it's going to be the third one, then it's going to be the fourth one. I have to do that whole chunk for each resort. And I haven't made it, I haven't done anything that's going to break yet, because all I put in is these little text tags. Okay, so now here comes a big step. Right, we did the little step, and now we have to do a big step. But we've gone so close to that big step that it's not quite the big step that it would have been otherwise. What does that turn into? You guessed it, XSL for each. For each what? For each whack whack resort. And if you're if you're um, uh, if you're concerned about whether you should have used an absolute path or a relative path, you can look back at the directions, the instructions. Um, and the instructions say, use absolute paths for the BC Snow title and description. That's what we did. Use X paths relative to WAC WAC resort for all resort information. So that tells us over here that I was okay to do to do WAC WAC resort, and I don't use I don't need to use it on absolute path here. Okay, so I got my for each statement in there, and now I'm going to run it again. And what do I expect? I expect to see this happen over and over again, right? The, all of this block. And so why didn't it happen over and over again? Now I have the first thing that I have to really think about that didn't work the way that I thought it was going to work. Go back over here, look at my thing, and here's something that I'm just going to tell you because you may not see it, and I often don't see it. See this for each? The for each had nothing in it. I have to take the end of the for each and put it down here before the for each is doing anything. Oops, okay, so let me just clean this up a little bit. Get rid of the down to here part. Now my for each is bracketing that whole chunk. And one thing you can do is you can close up the for each and make sure that it's, yep, there it is, it's bracketing that whole thing in here. And before, this wouldn't have gone away because it wasn't being bracketed for the for each. Okay, 
now I've take that I've took taken that step let me run this again and what do I expect hopefully you'd expect this that I'm going to run that same block over and over again for every resort but what's going on it's got Whistler Blackcomb all over and, and so it doesn't have the different names of the different resorts well of course it doesn't because we've got Whistler Blackcomb hard-coded in here instead I have to go find the title and put the title in there find the description put the description in here find the link put the link in here find the link put the link where are we find the link in my h2 find the uh, whoops I'm in the wrong place sorry <laughs> find the link put the link in here find the title put the title here find the description put the description here find the link put the link again in here and now I would be at, now I will be replacing Whistler Blackcomb with every resort okay I'm going to leave the rest to you except to say that obviously the same thing's got to happen down here for the ads, right? Whatever we did for the report, the resorts over and over again for each resort, we're going to have to do over and over again for each ad. All right, so hopefully that'll get you a nice head start and give you a feeling for how to go about this exercise.